Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 10 by 20 inch canvas, some Artist Loft white paint that has been mixed with Floetrol, an Oxo omelet, that won't fit there, <laughs> an Oxo omelet turning flip and full spatula I'm going to cover my uh, canvas with, a layer of that Artist Loft paint. This is um, a makeup, silicone makeup pad covered with <laughs> plastic and I'll include the, the tutorial video for making these. They have these wide straws everywhere and I used a chopstick for a handle and it usually comes out but evidently it's stuck in there right now. But uh, it shouldn't have to come out because it's what keeps the straw stiff and because it's a little flexible it makes an excellent swipe tool. I don't use it much but I'd like to use it more. This is ball chain a couple different sizes. I'm thinking about doing some bright colored wave, a wave or an ocean or some faux water or whatever it is. Um, first of all, I'm going to try and use very little of that white paint and grab a few of my favorite pinks. I'm a color art affiliate, so plum blossom is a primary element, I believe. No chips allowed. Because I'm adding a layer of white first, even if it's thin, it ought to help diffuse the strength of colors. And I might have gone a little light on the paint. So maybe just a little tiny, maybe a hair more. Or a half a teaspoon. That's a guess. So I was definitely thinking about a sky. And I love this plum blossom color and I haven't used a lot of it lately. And I like red skies actually. So I've got some uh, Rhapsody Rose, which is another primary element favorite of mine. Gonna mix those up together and use a little bit of Jasmine is another primary element. I am trying to get out of my usual <coughs> stripes. Oh, this primary element, Tempting Tulip, just fell right across my path. Is it open? It makes me want to add some Chantilly Lace. which is very sparkly, unlike anything else. So all those colors should be pretty strong and I'm going to use whatever's on my spatula to finish covering things. And I'm going to not, I'm going to try and restrain myself from getting too crazy. But I am going to use my residuals on the top and the edges. Wow, that's stuck right tight. Yeah, let's just do this first. I've never done this completely and I'd like to once. Spread all the paint down. Spread it across. Now, since I've got my red sky, I can contemplate. I've got some vivid, intense fluorescent coral, which is not usually one of my first choices of colors. This is a red, another vivid, intense. It looks pretty similar. Wow, looks like the same. Here's another vivid, intense vermilion red orange. like it was a lot. And let's use some more of that Chantilly lace. I don't think a lot of that vermilion is going to show because that's 
where my intended swipe is going to go. I do want to pick up some of this color and let it move up. And I get to look at it and see how I like it blending, and I kind of do. not being very cooperative about covering its top edge. Sorry about my head, I can tell I'm getting way too close to being obscuring your vision. So I found recently that I kind of like to change up the patterns in the sky just by moving my spatula around. did expect that Artist Loft White to um, mute the colors a little bit and it did a pretty good job of it too. I'm going to try some of the, since I'm here, some of the Chantilly Lace right on my spatula and I don't mind that there's some other colors on there. My way though, didn't I? So I do have Flow Troll mixed into my Vivid Intense, which means if I leave the paint a little heavy, it will flatten out, and the GAC 800 keeps it from cracking. I want a little more red in there. Not 100% on those clouds, but I'm liking what I'm seeing now, with the exception of that one thing. So I'm just going to drag whatever I've got to the edge, make sure I have enough paint across my top, which it seems, wow, it really seems like I do for a change, and even maybe a little extra. Let's make sure that goes right down the side. That's pretty, pretty bunch of colors. There's a color in there that doesn't belong. Wow. I'm going to use anything and everything. I'm going to start with a little more white again. Whether I should or not is up for discussion. But if it wets the canvas, my last painting I did a landscape and I had pre primed the canvas. This one is not pre primed. I'm going to knock off my paint and then throw the spatula in the bucket. I should have used the same color and put it across the bottom and then just covered it up and left the spaces open because that would have been like the reflection of the sunset in the water. But that doesn't mean that I can't do that anyway. So let's do Plum Blossom. Jasmine, two primary elements, a little bit of indigo violet, cerulean blue, which is probably asking for trouble because it is very intense. I don't even have a strong idea what I'm going to be doing tell you the truth. But that does make me want to use some Frozen, which is basically a lighter color of the same, the same family. And I got to remember that the white is going to work to mute things a little bit, but I'm going to still put some Chantilly Lace in. And I've got some 
Fairy Tales Primary Elements Alexandrite. And then I think I'm going to bring in some, some lighter greens. Yellow Green Vivid Intense. Take the little tab off. And I can't do this without my favorite, which is the Red Violet. It has a little bit of added, and it's a vivid, intense fluorescent, and it has a little bit of added golden diamonds, pigment powder, primary elements. So no matter where I go from here, I want to start by trying to add some of my chain. And getting that thing that does not belong out of there. Where are my tweezers? Oh no! I have disposed of my tweezers and I have two sets too. Oh well. I just have to use my fingers. So I've got enough over. I just figured it out before I did the painting that chain stripes, I just drag my fingernail through the sky. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Chain imitate. Twice I did it. Shoot. Okay, where's my spatula? New spatula, please. Grab some of that paint from up there. Oh yeah, I like that. Doesn't need to be white clouds. They could be beautiful pink clouds. Gee, I'm glad I dragged my fingernail through the painting. <laughs> I maybe don't even need to make a wave. I do need to figure out how to, how to um, make it straight. And I didn't think about that in advance. And I do have a skewer handy. And I have done this before and hopefully it works. I'm just going to go for it. For the spatula. I still want a wave. And I'm not sure about the cell activator necessity anymore. But I can definitely steal some paint from below and I don't think it's going to... I don't think anybody will know unless you tell them. But, by the same token, I do have a lack of paint at the bottom. Okay, that sort of demands a sun. I had something over there I didn't... I think it was appropriate. And over here, I'll just put some blue bottom clouds in because that's what's on the spatula. Alright, it doesn't look like a roiling sea or anything. I don't want to put something right across the bottom so it so it blends, but what would it be? I'm just going to use what's handy. That's a deep amethyst right now. And put a little bit more of this Alexandrite primary element uh, primary elements fairy tales collection. 
So that way I can run my finger down and it potentially get a mix of both of them. I think that worked okay. As you can see, I have the perfect amount of drips. I got three minutes. Three minutes and one minute after that. My edges and ends are pretty well covered. Got enough pink if I need some. I didn't put a wave in. I kind of want to put an orange sun in the sky just because. And even if it dendrites, it'll be cool. So what have I got? I've got Paroli Orange. And Vermilion Red Orange. Give that a bit of a blue. That did not work. Let's grab a skewer or something. I think I want it to be lighter orange. I could put some yellow in there. <coughs> I have a Hansa yellow. It has a little pearly orange in it. Let's see if I can blow that out. That's better and kind of cool actually. So, such as it is, I didn't put a wave in like I thought I was going to, but um, it's a gentle picture. No big deal. It's time for dinner anyway, so if I wanted to do something else, it would be tomorrow. I've got plenty of paint on my spatula that I could use on my edges. I need to tell you guys I love you. I don't know if it's worth shimmering or not. <laughs> I like the schmutzy clouds. I was going to be like, well, I hope I do. Got to be really careful just because it seems like the paint is sticky enough. So my paint pouring recipes below show more. If you like what I do, appreciate I appreciate the thumbs up. Shopping my Amazon link is a big assistance to me at no added cost to you, and I really appreciate that too. My books, are, my two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities are the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. I love you guys. I hope I see you in on. If you have questions, feel free to leave me questions in comments, and I will get back to you. If you want to look at my playlists, that there are 30, 30 lists of 100, and they're also organized by topic and genre. And if I have my phone handy, I'm going to try and shimmer that at you, even though there's probably less shimmer than usual. It's, it's just simple. And it, it works for me. And it's a little crooked. So I love you guys, and I hope you take care of each other, take care of yourselves. If you want to become a member, it's $9.99 a month. And uh, you get access to over 110 videos. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for the donations through PayPal. The icon's on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. Oh, I think I have less than a minute left. Please don't get, forget the thumbs up. If you share my videos, it's a big assistance. Your comments keep my morale boosted. I do sell my artwork. My email address is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever I've forgotten is 10.15 tomorrow a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when my next video will be, unless I've changed.